Because every person deserves a safe home and a safe community. And in three years, I want Colorado to be closing in on our goal of becoming one of the top set 10 safest states in the country. Right now, right now, Colorado falls in the middle of the pack on crime rates, but that's not good enough. We can and we must do better. And I want to commend our legislators who helped pass last year's historic public safety package, including Senator Buckner, Representative Valdez, Representative Ricks, Representative Bacon, and so many others. We also celebrate the important work of community organizations who are helping kids achieve future success. Thanks to legislation passed last year with the leadership of Representative Doherty, Representative Gonzalez Gutierrez, Senator Coleman, and Senator Henriksen, boys and girls clubs in Colorado received funding to launch a pilot across 21 club sites in 15 counties to provide real meaningful enrichment opportunities outside of school to help youth reach their full potential and avoid entering the justice system. Last fall, I called on the Commission on Criminal and Juvenile Justice to get tough on auto theft sentencing. And just last week, the Commission's Sentencing Task Force moved their recommendation forward overwhelmingly. And I look forward to seeing their recommendation taken up by the General Assembly on this important topic. This is an issue that has affected some of you in this chamber and so many of our fellow Coloradans. I look forward to finding better solutions to reduce auto theft in the state of Colorado. We're also investing in improving crime prevention strategies, expanding the capacity of the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, improving school safety by helping our schools make security improvements, expanding threat assessment, creating a one-stop shop to help schools and parents get the resources they need. I want to recognize our dedicated partner and our efforts to make Colorado safer, Attorney General Phil Weiser. <laughs> Partnership with our local leaders is critical to making Colorado safer. And I want to thank Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers, Aurora Mayor Mike Coffin, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock, who's represented today by Acting Mayor Laura Aldretti, for their leadership in helping to make Colorado safer. The, these mayors, Republican and Democratic, have helped identify tools to successfully fight crime in their communities and others. And together, we want the state to step up and be a more constructive partner in this work. I'm proud to join their recent call their bipartisan call for action, including greater penalties for car theft, deterring unlawful weapon possession by felons, and cracking down on ghost guns, which are completely untraceable and increasingly being used to carry out violent crimes. In the session ahead, let's take action on their recommendations and other things that we can do to continue our bipartisan work to make Colorado safer for everyone.